Today, I'm just talking about how to find out when you're going to get somewhere. And the easiest app I've found for doing that is called RV Parky. And it's free. And this is an image of our plans for this summer. We are booked to speak at the FMCA, Family Motor Coach Association, RV Rally in Gillette, Wyoming, and also at the Escapade in Rock Springs, Wyoming. At the end. You know, so this, this is, is RV Parky. It is free. You do need an account so that you have a storage place for your maps. So I am logged in and I will click go to my dashboard. And then I will click on trips. So these are all the trips that we've done. And, and notice it doesn't have to be in the United States. It, it's other places in the world as well. I'm going to make a new trip. And I'm just going to call this Gillette. Gillette Demo. When are you starting your trip? Well, that's one of that's my question. When do I need to start this trip? But we need to be there on July 7. Yeah. I mean, the, the rally actually starts on July 7. So I want to be there definitely by July 5. So we just kind of guesstimate. Let's say that we're going to start in the middle of June. So I'll go over to June and that looks like the middle. And we'll see how this works out. So Start City is where we live, which is Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And go. Who can view this trip? This is not something. You can create shareable trips for people to join in. I'm not doing that. And OK. So here is the start. We have the list of destinations on the left and the map on the right. We're starting in Fort Lauderdale. So I'm going to say our first stop is Melrose, Florida. I click go. And we're going to stay there one night. The next place we know we want to stop along the way is to visit another friend in Waco, Texas. Go. And we're going to stay there at least two nights. Let's make it three. Next, looking along the map on our way to Gillette, it looks like Denver, Colorado is right there. And there's a place we really like which is the Westminster Elks Lodge. You can find pretty much anything using RV Parky. Now this, we're gonna stay at least two nights. I mean, we need to rest up. And then the last stop is Gillette, Wyoming. But what's the problem? I wanna know the dates involved. So if we leave on June 16 and we travel up to Melrose, notice that it says we will arrive in Melrose on June 16. So, but then if we stay there one night, that means we will be leaving on June 17. And it says that we will reach Waco on June 17. Eh, I don't think so. That's 1,054 miles in between Melrose and Waco. But the goal is to keep it at 300 miles a day. So that means, what, four days. So what it looks like I have to do is add a stop, Pensacola. And we'll stay one night there. Then another plus, and I have to find another spot. Let's say Baton Rouge. But then look at how messy this is getting. I don't like this. I don't like having to come up with a stop for every place along the route. Between Melrose and Waco is 1,054 miles. That means I we need four days. So four days is three nights. If I add three nights to Melrose, then it has us arriving in Waco on June 20. But now I, I'm afraid that I will look at this and say, 
whoa, we said that we were gonna stay in Melrose for four nights. So I'm just gonna add a little note and say one night in Waco, I said, we will stay three nights. It's 864 miles to the next place. So that's three days or two nights. I will add two nights and write a note. Three night stay, two nights travel. Then we get into Westminster, Colorado, and that is our last stop before Gillette. 341 miles, so we just, we need one more night on the road. Three, I add a note. Stuff happens. So if I'm calculating dates, I want some buffer. So I'm gonna add three more nights to the Westminster stop as a buffer. I'll say three nights buffer. So that means I need six nights. So that has us getting into Gillette on July 1. I also like to be able to play what if. So for example, what if I convince my friend in California to come out to Colorado and, and meet me for a spa? So would I have time to stay in Colorado for four more days and still make it in time. And I can make it 10 nights. And that has us getting into Gillette on July 5. That's fine. So if we want to get to Gillette on June 27, when would we need to leave? I can just go up to the start date and change it to well, a week a week earlier. And now that gets us in on June 28. Okay, if we want to get there on June 27, we would have to go leave on the 8th with everything else that I put into the plan. Night. So I figured out this way that I can just add the nights and I don't need to figure out the stops.